some missile container boxes. This is a pretty nice little load. It's really light. I'm not even going to bother spreading the axles out. Um, recently got in, uh, did a check. They did replace the air valve, which is the same model and as you probably saw in previous videos. And some of the tires are getting low and stuff like that. So they ended up replacing like five of them on their 120 day. And that's why I was telling them when they got photos and everything. Um, but there's going to be some of those. But uh, the gentleman was brand new, but he still did a pretty, pretty good job of loading uh, these up. And these are for missiles, I think, uh, probably under wing for, you know, helicopter, jet. I don't know all that stuff. You know, I'm not in the military. I haven't been in 30-some years. But it's a really nice load. Pays pretty good for considering the changes in fuel and everything like that and, and some rates dropping this one still pays pretty well close to three bucks a mile and that's all right you know i can deal with it it's nice and square so when these are 11 feet long so when you got three stacks that's you know 33 roughly and then so when you think about tarp i got all three tarps i put them up with the fork truck so i've got a ladder at the other end so i'm going to be walking up there it's nice and stable and I have to, you know, always want to ask that question. Can I walk on the load? You know, that kind of thing. Um, don't know how uh, sensitive the freight is up top. So we want to make sure you can do that. Because I weigh, oh, 270, uh, 275. And I don't want to go doing any damages. So got all my equipment laid out. And uh, trailer issues again, you know, I have to come. I just barely made one of these four-inch pockets that we talked to. The folks in corporate about and we should be able to work through all the other issues and I don't care I'm gonna do three you know two would be sufficient but I'm doing three and this one has a, a fifth one so we got all fours and then it's got a single with a five stack so that makes it kind of a little bit different but if you can look there's lots of room down each side he's yeah, it's on there a little crooked but it's not too bad I mean it's not gonna matter as far as safety or anything like that freight will make it there just fine <laughs> I'm trying to get them to tighten it up because I you know because like I've said before so many times everybody got to think about it. when you go pulling the straps together you know um, if there's any gap as it settles makes a loose strap so if you can get it to, to work that way great because I don't want to over reef I mean I know they're sturdy but I don't want to I'm not going to go throw my whole body weight on the bar it's just not it's ridiculous Stand a chance on doing damage for it, so we're not going to do that. It's government, and uh, don't want to have any problems there. So as you can see, it's these are well made. Hot ticket, and a short ladder uh, will get me up there pretty easily. It's a little windy today, so coming from that direction so I should be all right but I've got some straps laid out ready to throw so I can go immediately throw three straps once I get everything rolled out and you can see everything's kind of moving and once I get them all thrown rolled out overlapped you still always start from the back you know just for any of you guys that are new you always start from the rear because then you're you lay it out as far as it'll go and you get it all spread then roll the next one out with your overlap and then your next so that way the wind rolls right over the top and doesn't get underneath so it's, it's pretty squared away it's not going to be a real long video it's not too many gaps but it's just things you gotta gotta deal with but everything lined up just barely for the to get three straps and you know per the rule i mean the aggregate for working load limits not a problem with two but i prefer three and that way i've got one every what is it like looks like three feet or so and that's mostly just to help pin down my tarps because i'm going over the top of my tarps uh, i could do that for stability because this is 
easy to walk on. I don't have any problems. It looks like FedEx can get in the gate. I'm in the, I don't know, I might have to move for him. So, you know, he can get in the dock, but he's got to be able to turn around. So I'll uh, go check with him and uh, I guess we'll see you on the road.